Yo, yo, welcome to another episode of The Intellectuals. I've got my new co-host here for how long has it been? Is this the third week? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yep. Adam, how you been, man? Good, good. Very proud, very appreciative. <laughs> you guys decided to cut me in, even though I hadn't been here for such a long time. So, uh... It's an interesting choice of words, but it is what it is. <laughs> All right, let's call the cops. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm calling. <laughs> um, so, the way you live your life, Adam, is very unique, I would say. I did get a lot of comments on the way he lives his life over the weekend. I met some t- intellectuals fans that yeah. I saw at the, the Bordell Comedy Club. Uh, they were losing their shit over you and the show. And they mentioned his return. And they're like, is it real or is this like for pretend? And I was like, it's not for hear- pretend. I remember hearing a comment that said, is this guy some pharmaceutical experiment? <laughs> I don't remember that. You know what? It was in the comments. Did. I don't know when, but I... You know. It's a valid question. <laughs> it's a very valid question. Um, so so the thing is, when, when I see you again, I get very curious of what you did between the last recording and this recording. So like last time I recorded was what, Wednesday? Wasn't it Thursday? No, it was a Wednesday, Wednesday, right? It was Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday, whatever. Okay, what you're ha- right, what, Wednesday. You're what right. did you do in those three, four days? Well, if you I'm must not know. going to give this big spiel about there are certain things that are no, personal. no, 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 no. I'll People, say what hold on. I deem appropriate. Hold on. Yes, th- okay. th- that's fine. We're that's not fine. Ask you but, to talk about your jack off schedule. Yeah, boy. we're just saying like what did you, what you did in general. Yeah, but just so you know, people enjoy your play by plays. All right, I appreciate okay. that. I would like to. I swear to God, I'm going on a small tangent. I will answer the question. I know that there was a comment that said Adam is this very evasive guy, and I will gladly explain that. Like I said a few moments ago, I don't want. When someone asks you a question and you don't want to answer the question, would I rather say, hey, that's nobody's business? I'd rather be diplomatic and say, it's a little personal, so I have no choice but to be evasive. I'm just explaining myself, okay? I don't, it's not a, it's not good well, to be perceived as evasive. Well, the whole point is that you're not explaining yourself. I don't want to go into certain details about certain kinds of questions. That's fine. So I'm it's explaining just that, that, my evasiveness. Do you realize that that makes it sound suspicious? suspicious. I thought about this very recently, and... Um, Yes, I know that's the Law and Order theme song. Yes, I thought about my evasiveness, and let me let me be very honest. Pick any sport: hockey, football, Curling. baseball. They may have interviews, post post game interviews, and all that too. But anyway, take oh, the you're big taking sports. this like post game interview. Oh, Jesus fucking Sometimes Christ! Sometimes the I, guy goes on camera and they ask him questions. He answers defense? some, and in some questions he answers. I don't. I don't want to talk about that. Next question. In his defense, I have been thinking of setting up a Pantalus comedy press conference area in in the big studio. (laughs) You know, in the background with all the logos and stuff, and then there's a desk, and we could invite the press if they have questions, and uh, (laughs) like 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 post post podcast, you know, post NBA games, and then they're like, uh, so uh, you received a very controversial guest on the podcast, and they could be like, yeah, next question. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, I'll be funny. I will answer the question because I know that fair is fair. What have I been doing in the last few days? Well, I am still in the process of securing a job. Yeah, okay. secure that bag. Do you remember? Uh, we got to talk about this because as we left last recording, man, you said some of the one of the wackiest things. Me? Him. Oh. One of the wackiest things I've ever heard in my life. So you have. You said Hitler was a good painter. There's that. Well, he is a good painter. Yeah. Was a good <laughs> painter. I have uh, never commented on the guy in my whole life. But, I don't but know we, both you agree, we both agree. We both agree. We both agree. Let's leave it at that. He was a great painter. <laughs> we both agree. <laughs> let's agree to agree. Well, yes. Let's agree to agree. <laughs> uh, so you have someone that finds you jobs and takes a cut, but they're like contractual jobs or whatever. That was one. That was one. No, that's oh. not what he does. You're talking about life coach versus uh, placement wait, wait, agency. Wait, let me, wait, let me specify. You're replacing. I worked in a warehouse, and that agency got me a job on a contractual basis, and I think it lasted like six, seven, eight, whatever, eight months. That I can, I'm answering your question. That happened once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that happened okay, once. Okay. You're mixing up. I, I know what just happened. You're mixing up the... Um, the life coach and the... The life coach and the placement agency. And the Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can explain that too. My life coach found the placement agency. Yeah. Bro, so convoluted for yeah. a job, man. You realize you could have just found the placement agency by Googling that. Can I tell you something? Go ahead. So um, well, some of the uh, businesses that ha- are having the most hard time in hiring people is gas stations. Do you know why? I heard you loud and clear. Because of the weird hours, because they're 24-7. 
So they have nobody that wants to do those like weird shifts like t- until late at night and then early morning. Mm-hmm. So they they'd be willing to hire. If you walk into a gas station uh, and and you know just be like, "Hey, I'm looking for a job. I'm willing to work weird hours full time or part time." They would pretty much take you. And then on top of it, you could get a letter from them for uh your curfew. So you could be excluded for the curfew. Let's say you're at yeah, the gas station. Yeah, your point is valid. You know what I mean? So so there's that. And then you don't need anybody to take a cut off of your hourly wage for placing you. You could just do it yourself. You could just so, walk in. So let me share my perspectives with you on that. First of all, I worked in a gas station. I worked at Ultramar right. in the 2000s. Okay? So I'm not against your plan at all, yeah. at all, at all. But let me please But you'd ask, have a steady, a steady paycheck. It, it would be like $15 an hour, let's say, times 40 hours. How much is yeah, that? Yeah, 600 That's like a million dollars a year. income tax. I know. That's 600 uh, Let's say 450, uh, yeah, yeah, 450 yeah, yeah. a week, right? Okay. That's 450 a week, I my don't boy. know where the error is in my logic or where it may be when I say um, I applied for a job at an insurance company. There are jobs that pay more than minimum wage that will also offer me yes, 40 but, hours. But this wait. is true, but the jobs that pay more normally require more. Yes. Like a, a different level of human. Yes. <laughs> and like we've established, you're never going to be able to live uh Okay, I'm not going to tell you how much making I was making at the, at cuz it's personal, but I was making more than minimum wage at the warehouse, okay? So uh, Yeah, cuz it was a I'm warehouse. I'm hoping you can yeah. understand that I have the right to yes, but tell you Yes, hold on, you're hold wrong. on. Let me let me say no, something. No, no, no. You, you making $17 an hour instead of $15 an hour is not the same thing. What we we're, we're saying is you you're going after the $150 an hour jobs, which you're not going to get. <laughs> I have no clue where you got that notion from. He's using that as an example. Jesus Christ, okay, man. Okay, fine, fine. I'm trying not to blow up your spot. I'm trying not to give away too much information so people okay. don't know exactly your I name. never so disagreed here's the thing. with Poseidon. You're better off finding a steady job at $15 an hour than a job that may not keep you and that only work. For 18 bucks an hour, that after a month, they're going to realize this man is retarded. We have to yeah. fire him. All right. I'm going to, fi- even though I don't have to tell you this, I'll tell you this as a courtesy. I did not go through the proper paper. I didn't go through the proper procedures. I would have been able to keep that job at the warehouse, okay? I'll tell you the reason. There is a procedure. You have to contact Human Resources. They sent me an email that said, Mr. Adam, you are now part of the permanent staff here. Nice. And if my memory serves me correctly, I thought it was automatic and I had to go to Human Resources fill out documents. I did not. So, you know what? No offense, but that kind of threw your whole reasoning okay. out the window. No, I didn't. I'm going to explain <laughs> something to you, which is so... I can't believe you're this dumb. So a lot of times human beings do not like confrontation. They don't. They're not like me. They 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 they, <laughs> Fine. they, they frown upon confrontation. Okay. Fine. I would so say ninety percent of the people. Ninety percent of the people. So what happened, dude? There's no one who has you as an employee that likes you. That you're a good employee. They go, oh, he's a good employee, but look at that. He forgot to come in yesterday to sign this document. Sadly, he can't work here anymore. They would just tell you, here, bro, sign this fucking document. Do you, you know understand? what? Words it was come to just, my mind? Listen, stop talking. Stop talking for a second. Okay. What happened is they found an easy way to get rid of you. They just told you, like, yeah, you were supposed to sign this document yesterday and you didn't, so we can't keep you. It is any other adult with a reason would understand, okay, this is just an excuse. That's such a stupid thing. You're not going to hire. You're not going to go find another employee last minute because of this. You're just going to make me sign the paper. But to this day, you've been holding on to that thinking that, ah, I just fucked up the timing on the signature. You listening to that, Poseidon, do you not realize how stupid what he's saying is? 100%. 100%. And they just didn't want confrontation. They didn't want to tell you, Adam, you're fired, because they didn't know how you're going to react. Because yeah. the problem with people like you is, you, there's two things that you, there's two ways. One, you you're sad and passive, and you're like, I'm sorry, and, and apologetic, and you leave. And others, they shoot the place up. Yeah. So they don't know. So they rather. In what context of shoot the place up? Do you mean? The context of going in and murdering people. The, is there another context of shooting a place up? I didn't what you meant to say. They get really mad at me, or what do you mean, my employer? You, the, 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 oh my God. They, the employer, they, the the employer, yes, did not shoot the place up. You fucking idiot. You, it was a metaphor. No, it's not a metaphor. It's not the right thing. It's you. What they're scared about is you. Your your fake ass life coach didn't tell you this, but they're scared of pissing. They're scared of confrontation. They're scared of someone like you. They don't know how you're gonna react when they when they don't want you anymore. They fire you. Okay, so you can react two ways. One is like like an idiot. Which is shooting the place up, or two, you just get sad and leave. Yeah. Now they didn't want to risk it, so what they said is instead of them saying we fired you, they made it seem like it was it was your fault in the sense that you couldn't do the job, but they made it seem like oh you forgot to sign the paper. Well, what are you gonna you. do? That is so stupid, Adam. That is so stupid that you even believed it that that would be a reason. Like, are you not realizing now how fucking okay, stupid ask, that is? All right, I'm not on anybody's side here, but just here is a very important piece of information. Yes. Any 
company, uh, excuse me, let me rephrase that. The company in question that I worked for, there was a so-called trial period. I don't remember if it was three months or six months, yes. depending on the kind of contract. It's, it's three called months, probation. I think, yes. legally. I was told by another employee who knew what he was talking about that they they use those six months or three months, whatever the case, to gauge how well of an employee, how well you're yes, working. Yes, everywhere. That's three months I probation. I got news for you. They could have told me right off the bat, Mr. Adam, your contract is not will not be expired. Your last day is X day. That's it. I lasted longer than those six months. So yeah, does course. that not kind of indicate, well, what a dummy I was by not going through the proper procedures? They, sorry, let me add to oh that. My God. They wrote me an email which says, Mr. Adam, we are happy to tell you that you are now mem you have the, now the chance to be a member of our permanent staff. Yes. I didn't just make this up. It was an email. No, no, we're not saying you. You're yeah. not understanding what we're telling you. You keep regurgitating the same thing. What we're telling you is that if someone wants you on, you don't fucking get this. If someone oh, wants you to work there, stop talking. Stop talking, Adam. If somebody fucking wants you to work there and they like you as a goddamn employee they're not going to be like oh it's like a video game you missed that step you can't work here anymore that's insane the fact that you believe that that is oh, completely insane fine no no argument something has happened but it's personal i'm not going to talk about it okay something else happened yeah i can't with this guy i didn't come in for a certain period of time because my mother had a personal issue please so you're not going to work is the reason why are you acting this whole time we've been talking you're like i don't know i'm such a good employee I <laughs> what always... the hell? that was at the very end you know who but he the is? reason why it became the very end is because that's when they fired you he, he's all those prisoners in shawshank yeah. redemption all right. I'm, I innocent. All right. I'm innocent i'm innocent i'm innocent i'm innocent guys so you you think that's a so very fine. had i come forward after like two minutes of this discussion and said something happened i was on the hook regardless of all this bullshit about signing or not signing it had been better if I'd said that at the beginning and then maybe Adam, your stance. Adam, even if you sign to work for a year, if you don't show up to work, you're going to get fired. Yeah, there's conditions, bro. That's everywhere. That's any job. How does that surprise you? I know you guys you? are probably thinking I must be like 15 years old. I know that. I can tell that you're something not. something happened. I don't want to get into it because it's personal. <laughs> no, no. It doesn't. You're not. You, but regardless. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is, what, this is why people can't have conversations with you. We don't even care what the reason you didn't go to work is. That's what you don't understand. We don't care about your personal stuff. And that's what you don't understand. You keep yelling, it's personal. Nobody cares. The fact that you didn't go to work, it, it, the reason behind it doesn't matter to the employee. It could be employer. personal. It could be to the employer. It doesn't matter if it's personal. It doesn't matter if you missed the bus. It doesn't matter. Look at what he chooses to correct. Employer. <laughs> Fucking idiot, bro. Idiot. It doesn't matter what the reason is. If you don't go to work, that's what they get mad at. You screaming, but it's personal. Everything is personal to you because it personally happens to you. <laughs> that's not an excuse. Or, you know, you could have mentioned, hey, by the way, I, is it okay if I take some time off because I have these personal issues? I wrote them a letter, but it was too late. And they agreed with no, me. No, no, they no, no. said, hold hold on, on. What's up with okay, writing a fucking okay, letter? Writing a Why fucking can't you letter? see your manager yeah, 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 in on, person? Hold on, hold on. Present all the facts rather no. than pieces of information? Yes, yes, which you refuse to always give all the facts, and then we have to piece it together by, like, pulling okay. things you know from what? you, okay? Hold on, number two, the letter thing is fucking insane because what you fail to realize is, because I remember you saying something similar to this a while ago, so I do remember the story a bit you weren't showing up okay so you didn't go to work let's say today is your Maybe day it was the same oh, case oh, oh. it was the same case fine. i hope, I hope fine, to God. Fine. so let's say today you don't show up to work right yes instead of letting them know that you're not going to show up or let them the day before you just don't show up write a letter they get it a week later and a week later they receive a letter that says yeah last week but you wrote it then yeah four score nine years ago i didn't show up to work because i it is so stupid what you're fucking saying so you don't why give don't them you any comment warning on my retardation versus the fact that the company was not in, in, interested in hiring me it was just a poor was both but i understand why they weren't interested in hiring you because you don't show up to work and then you write a physical fucking letter that they're gonna get three weeks later and to explain why you weren't when when you go to work okay you make a promise to go to work especially in a one warehouse. week later but whatever yeah but that's insane bro what you understand they have to make uh accommodations they expect uh, on this shift i'm gonna have adam and another uh retarded person they're gonna do x amount of work you not showing up and them not knowing that you're not gonna show up okay. fucks them in the ass because now Can they're we? understaffed yeah. they don't know how to prepare they try to find you they can't they receive a letter from you like it's fucking 1927 bro <laughs> instead of you picking up a fucking phone anyways it's crazy did you doing. send the letter by carrier pigeon Tell you what, Here's can, what I, we're gonna, can hold I just on, hold on. say the one hundred percent of what you guys think is correct? So there's no debate, no argument. One hundred percent of what you're saying is correct. Here's how we're gonna do the podcast from now on. <laughs> Adam, Adam, read this. 
Yeah, I'm not going to. Read, it's, read it's the fucking ad! I'm going to rephrase one of those. Go Is screw yourself. I'm not going to say the, the other word. Adam, go screw yourself. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> It's not go screw yourself. I mean, I'm hoping he's learning, but it's just, it's insane that you try to omit stuff. Yeah. You're like, who knows why they didn't want me to work there? No, we know why they didn't want you to work there. You're a terrible employee. That's yeah. insane. You're not showing up. And now, so let's say, for example, this podcast. Hold on, Adam. Let's say for this podcast. Go let's ahead. say we showed up here. Yeah. We had a, an agreement on the time for you to be here. Let's say you weren't here at that time. And we don't hear from you for another week. We receive a letter next week. I know exactly what you're going to say. Do you know say. how insane shame that is? Shame on me. Shame on me. And that's being that's an understatement. Well, it's not you shame. Moron, it's you just not shame. Unless you have listen, a serious listen, listen, excuse. Stop, 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 stop. It's not shame on you. It's just you did things the wrong way. We're just trying to show you. Yes. We're not, okay. look, and I we're not trying to bash you. We're yeah, just trying to be like. Yeah, here's what I want you to understand from when you do that stuff. Is it's not about that. What you're thinking is, I'm just not there. What's the big deal? The problem is people make... Um, uh, decisions and make accommodations. It's a business. It's a business. Multi-million dollar business. Yes. So they had mul there was a multi multi-million dollar business. They expected you to do part of that work, and now they didn't have time to change or accommodate because you never called. You send them a letter, like a fucking a week later bro, after you disappeared. And the letter that you sent, I'm assuming it wasn't. I even cannot make it for said reasons that are personal. No, no, I don't. I never asked you that. Oh. I never asked you what the letter wrote. What do you think? Sorry. What do you, you think? Just sorry. What well, do you I'm think the letter wrote? No, no, I, I, I have a hold on. I know what the letter wrote. Uh, well, I don't know what the letter wrote. But I know what the letter looked like. I'll he show you. He hid the peasants. No, no, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Working in my warehouse. <laughs> I will no longer be able to come in for a week. I'll show you exactly what it will look like. Ah, yes, this week has passed. You know and you what are I getting find the is a little late. on the sad side for me? That throwing this whole life coach <laughs> and agency, you guys, you guys are slightly misinformed about the life coach and the agency. They got me the job. My own screw up, if you want to call it that, cost me the job. Nothing against the agency, nothing against my life. That's all I wanted to say. Yeah, yeah. Keep supporting them. <laughs> keep supporting them. I have, a, I have a photo of the, uh. the letter you sent. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, that's good. <laughs> this is the letter that got him fired. God damn, Adam. Mm. You're something else, man. And you know what? Could you imagine? Uh bro, I don't know why, but this is how I picture it in my head. He probably went missing for a week, walked into work a week later, and just handed this letter. No, no, no. He 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 said he sent it. It's oh, just, you sent it? He sh he, I don't know. Wait. You know, guys, I feel, you walk like, in and I feel like we're in a wrestling match, and I'm down on the ground. It doesn't matter what I say. You're going to be like, I, was, I don't care. Was I that right? I came maybe two days a week during that fight. So I wasn't just like AWOL, as they call. I came two days a week. I approached my manager. I was kind of avoiding him. I agree. It was inappropriate. Hold I on. Found you were right avoiding time. him because you weren't showing up to... So do you When not I was there, I was avoiding him because I, I know he was going to say something. Obviously... Was, wait, hold on. Do you not find this crazy? Yes. Hold on, hold on. Let's do yes. what I'm telling you. You don't I'm show up... An example. You don't show up Monday, Tuesday. They have no idea why you're not there. You send a letter that hasn't arrived yet. Then I you show up... I gave hands. Of a d I was oh, right. I no, was right. I was right. I was right, bro. I was right. <laughs> wait, wait. Let me you know, wait, wait, wait. I approached my boss. I I know I should have done it on fucking not day six, but day two of what was going on. He I should said, have done it on day zero yes, so that they know that yes. day one you're not going to be there. I guarantee you, bro, said, he walked in and he did this. He just he threw said, it on the ground. Oops. I, I know you're not a bullshitter. <laughs> Please show me a letter with letterhead from your mother's, you know, proving that it's your mother. Okay, so too little, too late. That's all I'm going to say, okay? Bro, a too man little, of your age late. showing up with a letter from his mom from... from <sighs> Anyways, do you see why? Yes. It, you you, you want to get frustrated? Fine. Get I'm frustrated. I'm getting frustrated this because this was one select case. No, it not wasn't. Not every single employee I worked for had that. No, no, no. They have different <laughs> problems with you. What I'm saying is, you always find ways to do this shit that it's like you become unemployable. I'm not looking for brownie points, but please hear me what out. What the fuck's a brownie this point? This happened after maybe the seventh month that I was working. I still got the letter that says, thank you, Adam. We are now, you are now part of our staff. Okay? Yeah. Promise. And then And then what happened? And then I you... fucked up at the seventh. I didn't even fuck up. I don't want to tell you what happened because it's personal. No, okay? you, you don't get it. Again, you, you, you're, you're focusing on the wrong fucking thing. Nobody wants your personal information. Nobody cares what okay, the personal okay. thing was. You keep bringing it up. Okay. It doesn't matter. That's what you're failing to understand. It doesn't matter what curious. the reason was. No, if someone was sick in his family. It doesn't I know, matter. I know, I know. It does, the reason doesn't matter. Is what you, the, the, That is the, what happened. But They're not mad at you because yeah. someone in your family was sick. That's not why they're mad at you. They're mad at you because the way you dealt with it, it's retarded. So they can't trust you as a fucking employee. Okay, fine. 
You're making it seem like it's fine. Nobody cares. You could. You don't right. even have to. All you have to tell them is I have a personal issue. They don't care what the issue is. It's the way you dealt with it that's the problem. Are you understanding this? Yes. Yes. So and let's say I just told you ten minutes ago. <coughs> I am not disputing, disagreeing, or arguing with any part of what you're saying. So isn't that isn't that the right person? No, 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 so, no. So, this so, happened because so, you 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 omitted facts in the beginning. Yes, and then that. we had to pull them out of you. Don't and fucking here's, lie. Here's how you should have dealt with this situation. So let's say. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll give you an example. So let's say, uh, when did you find out about that thing? Was it last minute that you found out as well? Well, the person getting sick. Uh, wait, was, what's your you know, when did I find out about the yeah, sickness? Yeah, did you know in advance? Did you know in advance you'd be missing from work? Or did you no, find out last minute? because there was an operation that the person had. And okay, so it was last minute. You found out. Yes. Okay, so what you should have done. Were you at work when you found this out? I don't remember. Could have been the day after. I don't remember. Okay, okay? so what you should have done. Is put on your big boy pants, show up to work, grab the manager, be like, look, I understand you're busy, but this is very important. I got to talk to you. I have a family member. I got to go take care of them. I may be missing some days uh, if, she, you know, but I'm willing to make this work. I can maybe take other hours, weirder hours to make up for it. Or like work you, overtime. You're literally the Justin Trudeau of employees. Yeah. They're, 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 they're telling Justin Trudeau, they're like, yo, people are unhappy. Stop fucking up the economy. Are you, and then he and then all and he, he's he, throwing he'll things mi- around and he's yeah, and then he's just words. like, people are racist and misogynists, and I can't work with. No, no, no one's talking about misogynists. What we're saying is people are suffering. We don't have enough housing. I forgot you gotta what do that something. And then he's like, why way? do you hate the Ukraine? Like it's it's like you can't talk to you. Yeah, I forgot what misogynist means. Uh, it means someone who only uh, cares about massages and he doesn't want to work. <laughs> how convenient it's spelled differently, those two words. But do you understand how you should have handled that? Yes not, yes. not write up a letter and then drop it on the floor next to the manager. Like, that's weird. I didn't drop it. I gave it to him. I showed up on time, 8 in the morning, and I said... <laughs> late, three days late. <laughs> yeah, I love uh, it. Because yeah, yeah, he yeah. says, I showed up on time. Yeah. This is after not showing up. Yeah. But okay, he okay, mentions okay. that he was on time Fine. as if that's a good thing. So call me Mr. Trudeau from now on. No, Fine. Because you realize if you show up three days late, okay, on time, that then you're not yeah. on time. You're three days late. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, okay. He's amazing. Okay. But guys, can we, can we please focus on the bigger picture? I promise you that happened with one of my jobs. All the other jobs, speaking of the employment, the, the placement agency, were all contracts. Two months here, three weeks here. So, you know... I can understand if I really messed up by losing job after that was one select job and I'm facing the music. The other jobs were all contracted. Don't speak at me. COVID, speak into the microphone. Because they were, it was during COVID. So, you know. Don't I, blame I, COVID for this. <laughs> you do realize. <laughs> oh, I realize a lot. Uh, I don't know how, I don't even know how to tell this to him. When they say contractual, mm-hmm. they just want to see how, they, they basically don't want responsibility. Correct. You know, you know what you I mean? You have a point. They don't yeah. want to hire a full-time employee, example, and then mm. see that he's shit, and then, oh, now we got to fire him. So it's contractual because, like, I think for this job, we need a three-week window to see if he would be good here. They hire you for those three weeks. They make their decision in two weeks or maybe even less, considering you. They're like, just let him work for the three weeks. He gets his pay, and then he, he's going to fuck off. That's what it is. That's not real. Like, when I see contractual, right? like... I, I know that. So let me please be devil's advocate right now, oh and I'll tell God, you what bro. I mean. Who's we the devil in this can't scenario? Be, we can't read the employer's mind, okay? Mm-hmm. I remember working, it was uh, it was actually a grocery store, a grocery store warehouse, excuse me, and I remember I did okay. my job two weeks, three weeks. They even said, this is going to be your new schedule. Oh, my please God. Please let me talk. And one of the bosses Adam, enforcement, Adam, Mr. Adam, Adam, don't come in. In what, in what reality are you under contract to move pallets? Adam, think for a second. That's, uh, okay, let me think. Think, in, okay? In what it's not a contract where you're building something and you have a year window to build it. I don't know. Yeah, like he was in video games. It's not like the company oh, gave I you a year you okay. to make a goddamn video game and this is your contract for that uh, product. You're doing okay, manual labor. Point. You're doing manual fucking labor. That they could replace you at okay. any moment. Okay, I see what you mean. Okay, fine. But don't make don't make me responsible for their legality. No, no, we're making, you're (laughs) responsible for your stupidity. Look, Adam, did you never watch like PSAs or after school specials when you were a kid? What's a PSA? Public service. Like they, okay, look, like this. They they would give you, look, training on how to be in the world. Like, look at this, okay? (laughs) But it's true. This is very important. Why are you laughing? This is very important, Adam. Pay attention. Please. 
I'd like some more too, please, sir. She mm -hmm. spilled my coffee. I'm sorry, sir. You fucking bitch. <laughs> You wouldn't get away with it here. You shouldn't get away with it at home. Do you get it? The guy's gonna get himself arrested for that. <laughs> okay, but do you get why that was wrong? Yes, most people would say, speak to the manager, have them give me another coffee, whatever. I Comp Yes, I hear you. It's very inappropriate what the guy did. Okay, what would most people do? Either the waitress would do it herself, or you would alert the manager and say, this woman just spilled coffee. You can alert the manager and say this woman spilled coffee to the manager could smack her. <laughs> Look, Adam, you clearly haven't learned how to live in society, bro. <laughs> this commercial is not debatable. There's no debate on what the... <laughs> I was not acting civilized. It was an honest mistake from the waitress's <laughs> perspective. I don't know what it is you guys want from me. It was honest mistake. I love you, Adam. You're a fucking lunatic. <laughs> it was an honest mistake. <sighs> Oy vey. Anyways, so do you understand now that there's no yeah. such thing as contractual work for manual labor? It's not like you're building a fucking shed. Okay, you've made your point. You have. What am I supposed to do having heard what you just said? You tell me. Never no, do that again. No, there isn't. But this is the way the placement agency works. Oh, I, okay, wait. Maybe I should find a better placement agency that doesn't deal with these bullshit contracts. <laughs> No. Yeah, you understand. You should nothing. find a job yourself. Uh, okay, fine. Well, you should go out. You know what you should do? Mm -hmm. Do you have a CV? Of course. Oh. I'm very he says, curious. He says, of course. I'm very okay. curious. Okay. Maybe there's a little bit of, of reason in my head. Listen to this. I'm listening. I, true story. So my life coach told me, go and get in touch with this placement aid. This is, he wasn't, she wasn't an agency. She was a woman, a private person. I call her and I say, wait a second, I remember you. Where did I, have you dealt with me before? I said, oh yeah, you're the woman who worked for this placement agency. I don't like the way they ran their operation. So this actually goes to what you guys said. What a bullshit operation. I hope there's a little bit of reason in terms of what I just said. There's no reason. She I don't know words. She, you get this woman acknowledged that she worked for that placement agency that so? got me a job for four weeks, okay. another job for two weeks, another job for two months. She didn't like the way they run her. So she expressed the same opinion you guys just did. This is not the way contract contractual work works. What does that have to do with anything? What the fuck are you talking about? No, what happened was is they tried you out for multiple jobs. Well, okay, so I'll give you I'll, I'll tell you the I'll give you the rundown. <clears throat> Go ahead. It was presented as contractual to you, right? okay? Because they want to fool you, okay? But what happened behind the scenes right. is, okay, look, we have uh, this employee. He's uh, had uh, numerous jobs. Uh, we'll send him over, see if you like him for two weeks. Bit of a retard. Okay, yeah, but, you know, he's not all there uh, mentally. And they send you. You think it's a contract for two weeks because uh, you're Cause obviously you're insane, uh, which there's no such thing as warehouse contract. Like, I've never heard of this. <laughs> um, this is insane. They Sorry, guys, you. I got a contract. I can't come in. I got <laughs> <laughs> this is ins complete insanity. They send you in. They mm. test you for two weeks. They get. They go, okay, we'll, 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 okay, your contract's done. They tell you, ciao, bye. And then they get back to the agency telling them, yeah, never send this fucking asshole okay. here again. Okay, let me please That's give you a happens. very important commentary on that. That same agency got me the second and the third and the fourth. Yeah. And that's what they did every <laughs> single second, yes. third, and fourth. They would have told me to go screw myself no, if that's they what happened. No, they wouldn't. They're making a no, couple of bucks no. off you every time. It's not, they don't give a shit. And the last job act lasted eight months. Yeah, because they're making money off you. But Listen, just because, just because, and you somehow flew under the radar yeah, for yeah, seven exactly. months. Yeah, exactly. Just because some employers are stupid and they don't realize your issues. Sometimes for a it's while. not even stupid. Sometimes it's just so big you okay. fly under the radar. So, you know yeah. what the problem what, is? Here? Wait, hold on. What 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 company was this? If you don't mind me asking. What, um, one was some manual work. Uh, where like, one was manual work. One was a grocery store warehouse. One was a, a clothing warehouse. No, the seven months one. What, what, what two other were clothing warehouses? Another thing. No, the seven months. A what, clothing what? warehouse. And was this a big clothing warehouse? They had, I don't know, 700 employees? That's yeah, bad. no shit! You lost the same fuck! I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I, I lost my temper. <sighs> you flew under the radar. Your retardation wasn't viewed for a while. Well, That's what happened. Until, until yeah. you went and gave that letter to the manager and you disappeared for three days. Because they, oh, because everything is automated. 700 employees, bro. Could you imagine if they had to keep track of everyone's I'll fucking... I'll tell you what. In a... Listen carefully. In, in, a, in a matter of me, quote unquote, saving face, 
I agree that I should have just faced the music on day zero, not on day two, not on day three. That's okay? not what I'm talking about. It would have kept me. The manager even told me, Adam, it's fine. You are entitled to have family issues, but you shouldn't have approached me. On the, he, he understood the letter. He said, fine, you're not a bullshitter. You should have approached me on day zero and I could have possibly had the job. I call that a mental error. Is that what you call it? <laughs> you know? Bro, you're, you're insane. <sighs> I was hoping we could classify me as kind of just lacking logic. Don't go into the insanity department. I was lacking logic. This was the bay, this wasn't was it? This was that warehouse I was telling you about. The bay. The it was for the bay? No. A clothing yeah. warehouse, okay? Okay. So, you know, the I'm... The bay doesn't do no clothes. I don't know. I'm conceding to everybody in this room. It was a. It was an error in logic. Why would they send me a letter that says, Mr. Adam, we want you on our staff? Why? Yes, Please. but you, you're mixing up the timeline. They sent that before they realized that you're retarded and you wow. didn't show up for three days. I don't think I have ever had an issue. Never mind the reasons. I don't think I've ever had an issue like that before. It was just bad timing. But it doesn't matter before reasoning. or after. It's He's when arguing. you do it. You're arguing the dumbest things. Man, you're hilarious. Uh, anyway. I know. <laughs> do you want to walk? Uh, do you have a CV? Yes. Okay. Uh, what, what, what's your experience? You put all your experience and everything? Of course. Yeah? What, what are the longest? What is the, jo what is the, the job? What's the job that you've held the longest? Yeah. Six years? No, really? What is it, though? It was, a, it was a satellite communications company. You're talking about your father's company? Yes. Yeah, okay, no. What, what real job that you okay, got yourself? one year. One year. Which one? Listen, guys, you know how you said yourself, there's certain things that are, it's a little bit personal. I had a job for one year, okay? Just, it how doesn't that? matter. That's not personal. It That's doesn't not, matter. Are you, are you going to say that in a job interview? You don't. Oh, man. They're going to ask you for references. Okay, you worked at a year here. We need a it reference. It doesn't matter. I worked as a. I I worked business. As a, I worked it's as not a, your business. Why you ask me personal questions? You guys You're are not, not my employer. Yeah. You guys are not. You're hired. <laughs> you know what? You're hired. <laughs> These are possible questions. So what was okay, the job? Fine. You know the you know the people that park cars. Certain cars brought. It valet. Was an valet. Wait. Yeah, we had car. We had people. What? Just, ah. just, just come on. Ah. It's, it's a private decision. business. It's a private valet business. I can't. I can't, bro. I'm getting oh. infuri. I'm oh. sorry, bro. But it, you were working as a valet. Hold on. Yeah. You held that job for a year. You crashed a car, I didn't you? I walked away. All right, all right. I, I walked all away right. from a car in flames. Everybody in, the, everybody in this, everybody in this room is gonna get That's a lot. That's why you didn't want to save the job. Everybody, no, I, I didn't. Walked no. away from a car on fire. Everybody in this room is gonna get a laugh, and I actually stood up. Do you know what my employer did? And this is illegal. I could have taken to the commission de nom de travail. Okay. There were. I don't remember if it was. I didn't crash a car. He claimed that there were two uh, car <laughs> people who were parking their cars that were complaining. Hey, there was a little bit of a scratch on the side of the car. It was. Look at my hands. It was like a garage like this, right? Very narrow when you went up, okay? And the, my boss was telling me, hey, there were two employee, there were two customers who, who complained that their car, there was a little scratch on this. What side. kind of cars How, were these? All kinds. But what, some, what, some but low the, end, some high end, I don't remember. No, but the scratch cars, were they high end cars? I don't remember. But okay. let me, the, this is highly illegal. Anybody who's listening will agree with me. What part is highly Unless illegal? Unless I sign a contract that says I'm responsible. They have my employer has no right to tell me. I think he asked me for four hundred dollars. I don't quote me on the Hold on, listen. Two hundred dollars per repair on. I need card. you to understand something. Go ahead. He doesn't need a contract if you damage yeah. someone else's property in the world, right? You're responsible for that. Like me and you right now. I hold on, hold on. And you I don't have. Listen, of what look at me. Look at me. Yeah. You don't have a contract right now with every person in Montreal, right? So Agreed. let's say you're driving and somebody scratches your car. It, are, are they going to tell you, sorry, Adam, I don't have a contract with you. It's your problem. Okay, wait. If I had known that this had happened, I'd go to my boss and we'd take it. He just says behind my back, hey, this guy complained. The, the okay. approach was inappropriate. Did the you first mistake he made, by the way, can I, I'm just going to hire you. Go right ahead. <laughs> the, that's the, the first, first mistake. Mist the second mistake, I just, because I know exactly how these things work. Yeah. Please. Yes. Um... The second mistake he did is he never insured you. You're yeah. supposed to insure your employees. So yeah. yes, it's a I little, remember somebody on. saying this. It's a little bit of his fault. It is his fault, but it's his the fault for scratching. But it. it's also his fault. They're both at fault. So the employer didn't do his Due job diligence. properly because he tried to save a few bucks. Thank uh, you. Thank like, you. Thank you. I will. I will take your side on that. Unbelievable. But you're still. You're still. <laughs> 
Yes, because that's because I know how things work. But you're yeah. still responsible. You're still responsible you're for not work. scratching people's cars. So let's say, let's say when you're doing the pallets, okay? Let's say you're in a warehouse, okay? Yeah. Uh, you, you, obviously, you're not the one ordering the merchandise or anything like that. However, if you take that the, the jigger and you crash it, you can't just be like, well, it's not my fault. I'm not. You have responsibility. Well, son yes. just said it. Insurance. I get it. Oh, my God. I'm going to fucking kill him. You don't get it. You, for some reason, you, you fail to understand. Even if you have insurance or not, yes. I would fire you if you're scratching cars. Oh, oh. Well, then that makes the boss a different kind of prick because you keep your job. You give no, me it makes you a wait. prick for scratching cars. I don't even remember. I am honest enough to fess up and say, sir, uh, this is what happened and I'm taking response. He claims. It's just one of this he said, she said. So the fact he that you claims. didn't notice that you were scratching the cars is also scary. No, so imagine how many, how many cars he scratched. Do you know how many cars I carried up and down over the course of a year? Come on. That's so insane. Dude, he probably was uh, the leading cause of insurance no, no, hikes no, no, no. in Quebec for a year. <laughs> you were the leading cause of insurance hikes. I guarantee Come on, you. It's a little scratch. It's not a big deal. How, I have a question. I have a question. Go ahead. Where was the scratch? On the side of the car. On the <laughs> like door? This, on the side. On I the, don't even remember. On on, Somewhere on the side. On the, the front, back? I don't remember that. I Because uh, if you were... I don't remember. There were Listen, levels, right? There were levels. This years ago. Oh, wait, hold on. There were levels, right, that you were going up? Yeah, it was a narrow... Um, and were you turning right or left? The steering wheel, bro. Left, in what position? Left, left. Okay, so you were going counterclockwise. Yes. And it was a tight turn. Yes. And did it you... It might have been about the width of this the studio. Also, you definitely fucked up their doors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially tight know. turns. Because what know. happens is on tight turns like that, the nose passes the column. But and and by the time you did the turn, the ass is already out. So you 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 rattled people's doors basically. Okay. You know, I really feel like I'm in the right in one sense and I'm in the wrong in another sense. I, year, I think you're in the wrong 100% of the year, sense. <laughs> do the math. 52 weeks in a year, 260 days that I went by. How many cars do you think I, I drove up? 20? Too many. 5,000 cars got too, brought up Too many down, for these poor and people. And I had two scratches. Now, come on. Two scratches that we know of. Yeah. <sighs> two scratches that you got caught. Okay, guys. So, you just conceded it. I'm in the wrong and the boss is in the wrong at the same time. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Pause, 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 pause. Stop it. The boss is an idiot for not getting insurance because yes, you should. Like, for example, I, I have, I pay money here. I have insurance on, on just my unit. I have insurance that yeah. goes up to what? Two or five million dollars a year in case uh, of damages, okay? Now, I have like to pay. vandalism and shit, for example? I hope not. It's it's more for uh, uh, if there's a fire, if there's oh, a leak yeah. oh, or what, you know. Yeah, but we're not exactly getting fire bombed by the Hell's Angels every day. Uh, so <laughs> I have that insurance, right? Okay. So if I didn't, so so right now, if somebody comes in, let's say if somebody starts a fire in the building, blows it up, yeah. okay, it's not my fault that they did that. It's their fault for doing that if they come and damage shit. But, but it's, it's my his fault for not getting insurance. If I didn't get insurance, that part is my oh, fault. Yeah. So if you don't have insurance, your landlord's gonna sue you for shitload. Could oh sue you for shitload of money. Oh my fucking god, bro! First of all, the landlord is insured for the building. Yeah. Okay. He's insured for his things. That's the whole oh. point of people getting individual insurance. You're not insuring the apartment because it doesn't belong to you. You're you're insuring everything that's oh. in the apartment yeah. that belongs to you. Okay, or I, your listen, office you guys space. said it earlier. Maybe there is a lack of logic. So what is the reason that you're getting the insurance? Because there's valuables here, right? What? Why the reason you, you have insurance is because you have valuables. Yeah. Okay. Cars are valuable. I met the stuff inside here. You just said you're insuring your studio because yeah. you have, I'm guessing, you have valuable items. If That's what you're I mean, guessing. Hold on, hold on. It's not because we're running a fucking business. It's not because it's my business. You're guessing it's because there's nice microphones in here. <laughs> There's a few. There's, so, there's several reasons, but that's one of them, right? What I said. They're not valuables. It's not. Va it's not gold chains. It's not. Va it's just because this is business. Your so equipment. If this, yeah. So if the equipment <laughs> breaks or something happens, uh, and we can't operate. Okay. So hold so on. I have a question. Would you make tips at this job? Not often, but every now and then. The reason why they wouldn't tip you is because you kept scratching their cars. I did receive the odd tip, but it wasn't often. They gave him a tip so he could give him back the car. Just give me the car and fuck <laughs> off. Yeah. But guys, we switched subjects. You were asking me what, what kind of job, what's the longest job you ever held. I walked away from that job. So I hope no, you no, can no, categorize no, no. You that. You didn't walk away from that job. Yeah, I got pissed off. My boss said, keep working. Give me. It was $600. I swear. I remember now. From four to six. $600. I remember. I was pissed. I believe you. He, and, and furthermore, he said, you give me this money or no paycheck for you. So I couldn't even say deducted from my pay. So, so hold on a second. Yes. 
Well, I mean, you don't have to deduct it from your pay. He was going to deduct it from your pay is what he said. He didn't want to. You give me the money, you give me a day, you give me a time, and I think I give it to him. In- Macy's he's an asshole for he's that. A, he, he, so he's will, a prick. We're, we're look, venturing into a different subject. Look, no, I, will, a I, will, I, have, shit. I have to, for the first time, take Adam's side, because that is a scumbag move on <laughs> his part. But Thank because you. he, first of all, he's running a, uh, operating a parking lot. How many spots did that have? Every floor, I don't know, 10 times there were five or six floors, 60? 50, 60 cars, that's good. 60, see, that's 60 cars parked. How much was he charging a day? I don't bucks? know. I didn't get into that. I don't know. You never collected the money from people? No. That was a, that was a guy who was... Okay, so look, that. the guy, he's okay. a dickhead because it's his fault. He so, knows so the who guy's he hired. An, yeah, the guy's an asshole because, first of all, he didn't insure you. The guy's making top dollar on parking because, you know, we know parking lots make a killing in the city. Where was Every this downtown? City. Old Montreal. Oh. Just on the border. This you guys guy, know where, was, where, I, I you know where look, McGill Street is? I'm going to take your side. I'm going to take your side for the first time. The guy was a piece of garbage because he's making. No, the guy was a piece of garbage, but it doesn't, it doesn't excuse him of his. It doesn't excuse your scratching of the cars. I never said that. We're going to get to that in a, in a minute. Okay, Give me a okay, second. Okay, okay. So he's an asshole for A, not insuring you, not insuring his employees, and then expecting his employees to pay. Whenever they uh, do damage, do damage because he didn't insure them, so he can't collect from the insurance. Because that four six hundred, he would have collected from the insurance very easy. The insurance would have been like, hey, he would have called. He would have been like, hey, one of my employees, the so and so that he's insured, did for like a four to six hundred dollars in damages to a car. I need to pay out the client. I'd like I paid to- out the client already. I would like a reimbursement. I have an educational this question. By insurance. the way, hold on, stop. Sorry. Uh, so he's an asshole, and then it, deducting it from your pay, first of all, you can't do that. I but he that. was paying you cash, was he? No, by check. Yeah, he can't do that. He can't You can't just decide uh, arbitrarily. arbitrarily the, the laws. The the I would have had a field the, day with Wait, yeah. the laws in the country, yeah, you can't just be like, I'm the boss here. No. So the guys, I will, for the first time, I will take your side on this. The guy was a scumbag. No, no, no. I'm not taking your side because I agree the guy was a scumbag, but the way he's reacting right now, because what you should have done, either go to the norm, but if the second he would have started talking to the norm to travail people, they would have got so frustrated, they would have said, give the guy $1,000. <laughs> and guys, I'm not sure. Sh- now, again, I'm not, a, but, I'm not a lawyer. Maybe he would have fired me had I decided to do that but what, what, why would that scare you you're leaving anyway yeah but okay <laughs> wait let me think did i leave right after this happened i just found that the guy was not treating me very well you know he was paying me minimum at the time it was like eight bucks an hour this is 2007 or 8 i left because i was just fed up and i, I started at three finished at 5 30 it was a part-time job was it a great by any chance wait you worked for no. two and a half hours a day yeah no, sorry. I worked from, I don't remember the times, from like 8 to 10 in the morning and then 3 to 5. We only needed people to, to bring the cars so, up so, and down. So you did four hours a day of work? Yeah, five days a week. At eight bucks an hour. $32 Bro, a there day. There was no need from, this was not this luxurious job, you know. I, Hold I left, on a second. You know? $32 a day and your time was so split in that day that in the middle of the day when you had your two, three hours, you can't go to another job, you're completely fine. So you... you, you <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> you telling me you couldn't find anything else, a full time job or even a part time job that would give you more hey, than thirty two dollars a year? I think I was okay, guys. We're venturing to other matters. I think I still had my father's job as a part time, like every now and then. So you know, we're oh, wait, weren't now. you full time at the other place? He's alive, bro. Whoops, sorry. Imagine oh, we man. were we were interviewing I feel like him. I'm always on the defensive. There were so times on, I worked for my father full time and you made eight thousand three hundred dollars in one year. Fucking loaded. You say so. <laughs> And the guy was expecting six bills from you. Yeah. Meanwhile, the, the guy's making an old Montreal. The guy must have been making fucking. And how how long would spots? it take him to make six bills? <laughs> Three months. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you a question. Well, a 32, very acad- thirty-two times yeah. ten. Let me ask you an academic question. It's three twenty. It would take him twenty days a month. Yeah, it, it would take him a, a couple month. weeks if I remember correctly. Nah, okay? bro, the guy's vile, yeah. bro. Now let me ask you a question. According to the proper legal procedures, forget me. You're parking your car in a garage. You discover there's a scratch. You approach the owner of the garage and say, "Sir, you owe me X amount of dollars because there's a and scratch." Look, I'm honest with you. Wait, wait, according wait. to the proper legal procedures, yes, ahead, you should have been aborted in the womb. <laughs> 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 and, and and hold on, pause a second. I don't think he's allowed to do that as an employer. You can't just be no, like, "I just need not. you for." No, he's two. not. No, this guy. I have rattled. a coworker that told me, "What are you? You can't stand up for yourself." Look, of guys, course I guys, can't. Guys, guys, Look at me. Let me let me back up, please, and ask you in a very general form. Wait, so this guy, you hold were... on, this guy had you standing around for three hours for free. What are you talking about? He, because those, what would you do in between? Dickhead? What would you do in between? Oh yeah, well I did my personal errands. 
Whatever. More personal errands, you oh, fucking okay. dickhead. Back up, please. I was a little bit worried not to go to the Commission de Nom de Travail because he might say, you're fired, you know? Uh, look, so then I, I am said, not uh, a lawyer. You I don't want bad blood because your employer's paying you. I call you fired, sir, and I raise you a quit. Do you guys get my point? Most, most, <laughs> most, if you were gonna in leave most anyways. cases, you want to be respectful to your employer so he doesn't. you're not at risk of getting well, if fired. Well, if he's not respectful but towards you. But if you're you, quitting, why would you be scared of getting fired? Okay, <laughs> let me rephrase <laughs> what happened. This did not happen, which resulted in my quitting. I quit later. I just remember that was that one isolated episode. It didn't happen recurringly. After he this docked you a on month a of pay. Basis. So what'd you do with that money? So you gave him the money? Yes. Oh, what the fuck? Hold on. You paid him those 600 bucks? Yes. I had. I, I remember I had fellow colleague. I remember I brought it to one person. He says, Adam, go to the commission on the travail. Go. You're, this is not I, legal. I have a question for you, and this is serious. Go ahead. So let's say you quit about a month later, okay? Yeah. So... You gave him 600 bucks, and then you worked to make back that 600 bucks, and then you quit, so you quit for zero. So you could have quit and kept the 600 bucks from the beginning since you were going to quit I told anyway. You, it was totally two different time frames. Maybe maybe even six months into what happened. I was, you know what I mean? Like, don't mix one event with another event. My yeah, quitting had nothing problem. to do with that $600, nothing. I didn't, first of all, you understand that when something happens the first time to somebody, you don't know what to do, Right. I okay, you, you know you talk about appropriate and inappropriate. I suppose I should have asked him from day one that I was working for him. Do you have an insurance policy? What happens if I happen to get into an accident? Do you agree with me that I just established I drove up something like twenty five hundred cars over the course of a year? Jesus, Christ. and I got into two scratches. Is that no, not no, me? Two scratches that we know of. That bro. we know of. Well, <laughs> I don't know. And how many other were some of these cars manual? Were there, like five or six? Yes. Did you know how to drive manual? Yes. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. Okay, guys, I asked you a there question. I asked you a question in terms of the person who knows how to think. Pantalis, please give me your best answer. If you had been in my shoes and you just got a job as a driver, in yes. the, yeah, as a valet driver, would you have asked the boss, sir, do you have an insurance? What happens if I get into Well, I'm accident? assuming that they would have told me, but uh, you, you, I would have known didn't? when I started. Okay. Well, if so he didn't, even whether he told me or not, if, if those are scratching said you have to pay for it, I'd laugh and be like, what are you fucking retarded, bro? That's the job. You know one of the, you know those ads that go on TV and they're like, if you were here at this time and this year, you're entitled to compensation. Yeah, yeah that's gonna if be you if had you parked your, your car. If you parked your car in 2007 in Old Montreal at a multi-level parking, <laughs> you're entitled to compensation. <laughs> the compensation is this podcast. <laughs> you're, you're proving well, to your guys, friends that I you weren't wrong. I swear to you, I will take a lie detector test. That is the first time I've ever had to pay an employer for something like that. No, 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 no jiggers in my wares ever broke. I was never expected to pay any. This is the first and only time in my life that that event happened. So this happened. is actually interesting. So hopefully you guys are not going to rake me over the coals. Till death, you know? This is actually interesting because we have something in common. There, there was a time I had to pay an employer uh, money as well for one of my fuck ups. I was 16. I was high as a kite. You told me the story. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was <laughs> oh, you paid. you did have to pay. Yeah, but I was paid under the table. It's a different story. Oh, okay. That makes I was sense. paid under the table. Had, had you been an employee and being paid legally, what would have happened? I could have told them to go fuck yourself. Oh. And you lose your job. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I think it's a bit of a gray area. Guys, you have a very valid point. I should have said, sir, I'm going to the commission right now. Let's play this. Let's do a little bit of role playing. Sir, yeah, I'm going rolling, to the commission de nom de travail. What do you think he would then say? Okay. You're fired. Why would you, I could, yeah, but why would you tell him? Because I say, I'm not doing that. He says, I'm withholding your pay if you don't. You're not understanding. Why would you tell him that you're going to the commission? Okay, Let's wait. Go. That was a means of telling him, listen, what you're doing is not legal, and I have to I have to go the next step to let it to be clear that, that what you're doing is not legal. So you're just trying to provide empty threats, thinking he'll back off. Listen, I've never been there, so I don't know how these guys, how this organization operates. I don't know. Which are the... The, the commission de norme de travail. I don't what know. What does that do with anything? I just said a few moments ago, sir, I'm going to the Commission de Nom de Travail. Yes. What do you think? And you just said, what did you say after that? I said, why would you tell him? Why don't you just go to the Commission? Oh. Uh, my head Okay, I, you have a point. But anyway, I'm telling you what my brain told me, okay? Yeah. Some role playing. What do you think the next step in logical terms would have been? Okay, you forget want me to role play it. Don't give me the 600. Question. Okay, either way, whatever you want. What do you want? Okay, fine. Forget the role playing. Answer. The, what do you think... How do you think, in logical terms, that would have gone down? So I tell the employer, sir, I'm going to the commission. Hmm. Then what? What do you think the employer would have said? Go ahead. Or you tell me. You tell me. And 
retard. <laughs> <sighs> That's how I think that would have gone. All right. How about I ask a question in very in no uncertain terms? Do you think that if you go to the commission, that your employer's not going to be like, you fucking piece of shit, you dare do this to me, I'm your employer, I, I support you, I, I, you know, I give you your pay? That was my mentality. I would have been like, bro, first of all, you have me uh, for four hours a day. The other four, you refuse to pay me. Uh, you uh, that's scumbag. Uh, you haven't insured me for scratching people's cars. And these are the two people that did notice or the two scratches that I did that I did notice. Uh, you're trying to dock me pay uh, because you decided not to insure me. Yeah. Fuck him. Oh, okay. Fine. The guy, the guy is... In you're the wrong. Okay, so you're you know both what? in the then wrong. Quit. You're both a hundred. Fine. It's like there, somebody handed a retarded man a parking lot, and then that That's exactly retarded right. man hired another retarded man. Like it's insane. Fine. Say That's no exactly more. Exactly what Say happened. Say no more. Uh, okay. Fine. <laughs> Those retards and retards. Oh my god, my head. Retard is. square. Anyway, <laughs> did going around in that circle make you dizzy? Me? Yeah, going up the levels, did it make you dizzy? No. That's no. one thing I actually like doing. I love going and, around in circles. But guys, please please understand, without laughing at me, I find that I'm sometimes, I feel like I'm on the defensive. <laughs> I am a good driver. I worked for Uber for, what, three years, four years? Okay? And you only is a managed... job I like. Oh, wait a second. And I you only managed Uber to kill three, three people. I worked at Uber three years. Can that's I ask that's you a question? the longest job if I If that's the job you like and yeah. people's safety uh. is not a concern for you, why don't you still work for Uber? First of all, my car at the time was, was no longer than 10 years old, and now I don't have one. So Hold on a Those second. are two valid reasons. Hold on. Those are not valid reasons. I'll tell you why. Go ahead. You're wasting your money renting cars to go to interviews and to go to... like. So you'll rent a car to go to work and make less money than it would cost that you to pay for the car. That was a trial basis. I was this close to buying one. I want to make sure you get your facts straight. Okay? Uh, you want to make sure I get my fucking facts straight. <laughs> so your goal right now should be to save money to buy a fucking car so you could just do Uber. If that's what you like and you can work your own schedule and you can't be late. I have a question oh, for you. I have a question. Since you Wait, please let me say that something's very important. I have a criminal record, remember? <laughs> Uber is, sadly, that was my plan before all this big stink happened. So that was my plan before. Hold on a second, but... Uber already has you on their database, no? Yeah. Yes, and I actually, since you guys must know, they, I'm not going to say they threw me out, they, they discontinued my contract after this After happened. what? Wait, Uber did you doesn't have a contract, you asked. Yeah. Oh my fucking God. I'm That's using second. their terminology. Did oh you tell, did you tell them that you had a criminal You have record? what's called a driver partner. These are the terms they yes, use. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. How did, what did they do? They canceled? Why? They said, sir, you are no longer permitted to work for us. What was the reason? I had a criminal record. How did they find out? Oh, they do They do background checks once every, I don't remember, it's once once every one year or two years. They make you do these things. I didn't I didn't know that because when I got in, I didn't have a record. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I remember this they, they, in you. the beginning. And I think oh. uh, if you want to start again. So you tried to start again. But wait, hold on. No, no, no. No, no, think, no. Hold on. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because they do hold when on. you start. I, I don't they remember They do the one details. when you start. Hold on. Let me remember because I remember I did... I did uh, skip the dishes for a bit. They never asked me for it. They never did a criminal background check on You're me. You're lucky because that's what they... Okay, maybe they didn't at the Hold time. on, hold on. I have a question. This background check that they do on you... Did they, they do it. You don't do it. Okay, but did, did they ask you to fill anything out? I think they ask you to just... Uh, they give you some kind of... You do it. All, you do everything electronically. And you did you have to put down that you... Uh, they do it for you. They don't ask. You will either pass or fail the, the background check. I get it, but did you... What did they ask you? What was the questions? Do you they don't ask you if you have a criminal record. They said, do you give us permission to do whatever it is we have to do in order to find out if you have and a record? And what was this? Uh, it's going back a few years. Three years, four years. I don't remember. I'll say it changed because when I did Uber back in 2016, uh, no, back in 2017, for the first half of 2017, they never, I think they did the initial one. But then again, I only did it that for six months. That company has changed their operation, by the way. Don't forget they had So wait, skip the dishes doesn't do criminal background checks. They Why do because one of my friends actually wanted to work for them and he had a DUI. And they said no. So All your friends are criminals. <laughs> <laughs> well, a DUI is a dead giveaway for that one, yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I think maybe they did one and I didn't know. So notice. they do a criminal background check. So it, They it's, have to. Well, they have to. They no, no. But let's say, let's say the crime. You've already paid for that crime. Let me explain. No, I believe no, no, no. I'm not they go asking back 10 you years. I can exp but I don't mind. Shut up. I'm not asking you a question. <laughs> I'm making a statement. I'm starting a conversation. Okay. If when you have a criminal background, yes. you pers you do your time, you go to jail, you come out, let's say, and it yes. was mm. it was a non-violent crime. Yes. I, stop saying fucking yes to everything I say. 
it was a non-violent crime, let's say. I'm, I'm, I'll look it up beside him. Let's say it was a non-violent crime and you did your time in jail. Now you're out. If you're blocked from doing a taxi job, you're doing this, then what's the point of paying money to have jails and put people in jails when they come out? You know, we say they're rehabilitated. If yeah. they can't get a real job, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to go back into crime. Your point yeah, is I valid. will say, I will say, the system they're they're kind of harsh on that shit. Yeah, it does it if it's a violent it, crime? I get it because you don't want them. You should yeah. know that just in case. But if it's like, let's say, Adam, like a bookie or whatever, working to get money and all that shit, like what the fuck's the point of you mentioning that so that he can't get a job? I think if you didn't murder anyone, all right, I'm gonna tell you a very interesting rape. story. I will answer your question using a story. No, no, we're on your side. Taxi bureau looks at what you did. Uber doesn't, but the taxi is a different industry. The taxi bureau makes you do a criminal check, and they see, okay, the guy shoplifted. Okay, we're not going to block him from getting a job. I got an idea. Go. I got an idea for a job for him. No background checks, nothing. I know people that rent out taxis. What does that mean? So they'll... um, so let's say as a taxi driver, you could make like uh, two, three bills. So you know the medallion? Yeah. So oh, they rent it out. They rent it out. They rent out the thing. They rent out the medallion. You have the medallion. Uh, they'll charge and you the a taxi. Hun- and the taxi. They'll charge you, uh, I think, $100 for the day. Now it's up to you to make two, three bills for the day to come clean. It's been like that for years. The only difference is you don't pay the city a quarter million dollars anymore. So it's why don't like you Like in do New that? York City, it was $900,000. I know people. I know if I'm you want, I can, I can get you a job like that. Why don't you get that? You'd be a taxi driver. You're I've great. never heard of... That. Yeah, and you, they do a criminal trek. It's taxi. Whoever oh, runs these taxis. Fucking ha- asshole. You didn't listen at all listen. to what he okay, said. I, heard- he, I love that you start talking, and in his head, okay, he so just, he's like, I have, look, look, you start talking, okay? Yeah. You have a minute of information to say, but the second you open your mouth, he's like, I already have my rebuttal ready. Yeah. Okay, fine. Okay, listen I to won't me. Say words, there right. is, okay, so they'll do a background check if you have to buy, if you buy the medallion yourself and you get into this business yourself. But the thing is, if you rent it, they don't. It's the, the the guy that owns the medallions. They do the background, not on you, you asshole. Okay, I'm not gonna. I was. Told He's reacting as if I'm talking shit. Because bro. I know somebody. Wait, I but know you're somebody who wanted to do exactly that. Go. The, both it, of us are responsible. Me, because we, should I get pulled over? You work for this guy. He didn't do his due diligence, and you didn't do. Yes, it. you're responsible. You have to have a license to drive and stuff. But the cops, when they pull you over, they don't say you're not allowed to drive because you have a criminal record. That's not a reality we live in. You fucking lunatic. They check if you have a special taxi license. A private Uber, no problem, but not taxi. They, you need an additional taxi. But you have license. your taxi license because you got to get it for Uber to do Uber. It's a different license. No, it's Uber. the same fucking license, asshole. I got it too, and I pay for it every year. I don't know. I'm gonna. Th- I think I'm gonna remove it because no, I'm no, paying. No, no. For it, just in case it's a good backup. Yeah, yeah, bro. I, I wish I got it. Okay, well, I think it's changed. I think I might fun. do that actually. <laughs> just fucking right. rent a taxi just for fun. Yeah, bro, it'd be amazing. And record everything, extra content, make oh, some money. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I just got an idea for myself. I might actually fucking do that. What's gonna happen to him though? Yeah, yeah. dude, we gotta find you somebody who. But the thing is, can you? How much were you making a day with Uber? I was making about five hundred a week. Who cares oh, what it was per day? Who cares? So divide. <laughs> divide by work four days a week, 125 a day. Yeah, here's the problem. We cannot have you rent a taxi for $100 a day when you're making fucking $25 a day. Yeah, that That's wouldn't make problem. any sense. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You need to make at least three bills a day. Yeah. If so you're I pay. bet you he would just not now, pick people up, just take random breaks. I wonder if I could just go f- a few steps backwards. You guys are operating under the pretext this guy doesn't have a clue what it means to have a steady job. And I'm trying no, my best no, to no, tell no, no. you. We're operating under the pretext of this guy has, doesn't have a clue of what it is to think. <laughs> May I please just point out a slight difference between your perception and mine of yes, the logic. You were telling me these stupid companies or these companies use contracts and that contract is bullshit. You're not in a, you're not you don't have I don't know, you're not designing a fucking furniture. Fine. But all I wanted to say is I pointed out to you earlier that this agent that I was working with that worked for that agency that she worked for for the first time said they're bullshit. So she pointed out to me they're a bullshit placement agent. Okay, what does that have to do with The anything? second agency she worked for was normal and that's where she got me that warehouse job. So all I'm saying is you're right about all this bullshit about the first agency. You find a normal agency and they don't deal with two weeks here, one month there. I hope that makes some sense to you. How's your, uh, what's your job situation like right now? I'm still looking. Exactly. (laughs) 
I had a, I've had a few interviews, but anyways, how about I keep everybody posted on this? I'm, I have some very interesting information I want to share on another note. Now, may I go well, ahead? Go ahead. Okay. I'm gonna put out a. I'm gonna put out a. APB. I APB. Knew you were gonna say that. Uh, I'll tell you I something. I don't know what else to say. Hold on. If somebody out there has a job for Adam that doesn't require much of mental work. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I'm not sure you'd be willing to hire him after listening to oh, this. Man. But just like anything, the putting stuff on shelves <laughs> at a grocery store, like a <laughs> supermarket, anything, or like a small depanur market, anything. Just I, I can't. I, I don't think he can fuck up putting stuff on shelves. You'd and, be surprised. And I think he has OCD, so I think that it might actually be good for him, and he might actually enjoy that. So please, just reach out to us. Reach out to me on Instagram. Reach out. Uh, well, actually, just reach out to me. Don't bother Pantelis with this bullshit. Please reach out to me. We're trying to find him a steady job with a steady paycheck where he's going to make at least 1600 a month to be able to get out of uh, wherever he's living now. I don't know the place with the, the that has the insulation as carpet. Um, so please, please reach out. If you're a business owner, you have a very – but we're talking about like a job that's very like – doesn't. Basic. Ba basic, basic, like basically a monkey could do it because we have a real life. I monkey. mean, at that in that event, let's just get a monkey. <laughs> oh, yeah, for free. Yeah. <laughs> I got something which is going to make you guys laugh for sure. May I speak, please? Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys are aware of this. It's a little bit different. Have you guys ever taken the the train to Toronto or Ottawa? Have you guys ever taken the train period? Whatever. Who cares? The Go long on. distance train. No, I haven't. Are you aware of the fact that um, when you get on, I think now before you get on, they ask you for your, for a boarding pass or they okay. don't let you on. Okay. What a I ticket. did, I swear to God, the, the train that goes to Ottawa or Toronto, they both stop at Dorval. So I, I went to Dorval and I remember, I think, hiding in the bathroom. I got I went to all the way to Ottawa and I didn't pay a dime because they don't, you know, they, they, they just don't check you. They check you on your first stop. They check you between downtown and Dorval. They didn't check me after that. I just thought I would share a laugh. Wait, did you hide in the bathroom the whole time? Not the whole time, but for maybe five to ten minutes. Because, yes, they could check the bathroom, but I guess, whatever. If they chose not to, and <laughs> they're not going to check you on your... Some basic logic, right? Let's say, let's just say for sake of hearing, I, oh, there was another thing, another trick I did. If you buy a train ticket from Montreal to Toronto, right? And you buy, and you buy a ticket that says Montreal Cornwall, they mm. will stop you on the first segment. Do you think they're going to ask you on the second? That stops, this train stops like six times. They're going to stop you on the second segment and the third, the fourth. If they want to, yeah. They generally don't. Okay, we remember this guy. So my point is, I've I've found a way to, to circumvent the system. It was a long time ago, but I'm just saying, <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> I would buy a ticket so on one when stop, you got to and I would go all the. It doesn't matter. I, I it was a trip that I made. So you just made a fun trip to Toronto, and then you you got out, and then went back into the train and went back home. I think I had a friend there at the time. I don't. Hold on, wait. Did you get stuck there for a while because you? No, no. The trip was planned. It wasn't just. A but did you get scammed while you were there? No, because no. the thing is, you didn't have a return ticket. I remember what I did. I, I rented a car and I did a one way. I said, "Pick up Toronto, return Montreal." You can do that with a rental car. Oh my God! You pay how much did you pay? A little more, a little over hundred bucks. No, no, no. You probably pay like three hundred. I was lucky. I think it was one twenty plus tax. One fifty, whatever. So you, okay, so you pay two, two, two forty. So you're good with money, is what you're saying? Nah, bro. No, not two forty. One fifty. Nah, bro. This guy, like you, there's no way. You, there's no way you just said this out loud and you're proud of it. No, I. You scammed I did it yourself. A few times. There's, there's no I, way, bro. I, I, you, I you, hold few. on, hold on, bro. You, you, you've done this a few times. Not that I've done very. I've done many. So hold on, so hold on. Various scams. So hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. You, you hopped on a train, hid in the bathroom. <laughs> So you didn't pay for the full ticket to go to Toronto? I think I did the same thing going back. Hold on, hold on. Then it. you got there, and then you're like, I got nothing to do. And I'm, get a car I'm, go stuck, back home. I'm stuck here. I can't get a train ticket. Okay. I didn't go just for... There was a reason I went to Toronto. I think I had a friend living there. Okay. This is 2004. What do you mean you think you had a friend? Do you remember what you did in the year 2004? So if I went on a trip, I remember why I went on the trip and who was there. I yeah, had a friend. Actually, in 2004, I went to uh, Alberta in the summer because I have a lot of family there. And I remember adventures I had there and what I did in this well, 2004. I've been to Toronto so, hold on, I have so a many times. Why not just get yourself at the time a, 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 a two-way ticket... To Toronto and back with the train, and All it right. would have cost you at the time $70. Yeah, you're right. So let me give you my reasoning. I paid $25 for a ticket that would have cost $100, and I paid another $25. I would have paid, had I done it the legal way, I would have paid one. Train was The train was never cheap. So I actually, 
I'm giving you, like, I did this a few times. There was one time that I did a one-way car rental. The rest of the time, I, I did the same trick a second Scamming time. Scamming the system. There's a, there's, a, <laughs> there's a possibility I may strangle him. Yeah, yeah, he's a bit of a... Uh, of a whack yeah, job. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. you would have never survived in in crazy places. You would have never survived in Sri Lanka. Yeah, yeah. Gonna, you you, I thought you were gonna say Harlem or something, but no, 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 no. <laughs> well, there too, there too. But I mean, but because you're in the first world, you know, if you just walked around all goofy, maybe people would have left you alone. But if it was anywhere in the third world, maybe even the second world, bro, you would have never survived, bro. You would have gotten bit. Well, you don't even if advertise. people advertise. Hold on. Even if people <laughs> didn't get to you, even if people didn't get to you and they didn't notice that you were a bit like uh, on the spectrum, <laughs> uh, for sure a snake would have bit you. For sure, bro. For sure an animal would have gotten to you. There's no way in hell, bro. There's yeah, no you way. You're, 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 your instincts are so off. They are so off. You'd probably see a crocodile. <laughs> and and be like, oh, guy, look Come at this cute lizard. Look at, this, look at this cute lizard. Oh, those sharp teeth. <laughs> you probably would have been one of those people that get gets eaten by a crocodile because you thought it was cute or some dumb shit. But like, oh, look at this fluffy bear. I bet it's all cut of the. Ah! I guarantee you, bro. Or you would like you would have been eaten by cannibals in Haiti. Did you see this? It wasn't real. Oh, that's not real. No, uh, the you, video is not real, but there, might, there, there, there are cannibal gangs. But the video that you saw on Twitter was like from a few years ago. They they tried uh, to the take over the burning guy, the guy on fire. That yeah, yeah so that him. was uh, Fugazi. Fugazi. Fake I heard news, they tried bro. to take over some jails in Haiti about a week or two ago. They did. They they freed oh. people. It's it's chaos. Yeah, like right now you'd be dead in Haiti for sure. Yeah. You would. You are. You should be grateful you were born in North America. You could have been born in Central. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, Central America, you'd be dead. Oh yeah. In South America, or he'd South, be dead. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but but not dead. Like they. I'm gonna be honest. Died. You'd be dead if you were born. To... They would have used them for two purposes. They would have either used them as a mule to bring over drugs, or they would have like at the border they would have you know emptied out his insides and packed him with drugs, to try to bring him over. Yeah. You would have been a mummy. Yeah. Anywho, intellectuals <laughs> out. Boy, they. <laughs> <laughs>